Hey guys, today I'm really excited to do this video for you because this is going to be all about pink products. Like all of my favorite pink products from nail polish to blush, lip colors, highlighters, lip liners, all my favorite pink stuff from Barbie pink to bubblegum pink. So I'm doing this video because a while back I did one all about coral products. So I had all of my favorite coral blushes and all my favorite coral, coral like lip products and everything and that was really fun so I wanted to do one on pink now. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Now when it comes to the high-end blush, you guys probably already know my favorites. I am highly addicted to Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. Now these two I don't show quite as often because I do have a couple other colors that I wear more often. But when I do reach for, you know, like a, a pink blush and I want sort of that uh, sort of like snow bunny, sort of cool, like you've been out skiing all day or something sort of look, these are the ones that I love. And these are Tarte Doll Face. And then this is Tarte Amused. And you know what, I will go ahead and swatch these for you because I had planned on doing swatches, but it was like cloudy and kind of rainy today, so I didn't get to go out and do them. It would have like, the lighting would have just been crap. So here we go. So, wait, which is which? Okay, <laughs> this one is Amused. And then there's Dollface. The next blush is by NARS, and I freaking love this blush, but I don't wear it very often because I have to really be in the mood for it, but I just love opening it up and looking in it, and this is NARS Angelica, and the reason I love it so much is just because it's a very cool tone pink, and it has those kind of cool sparkles to it, and it's just, ah, oh, it's just like drop dead gorgeous. Now, if you don't like sparkles on your cheeks, then you might not like this, you might want to go with the Tarte ones, but if you don't mind a little bit, like it doesn't, you know, settle into your pores or anything, you really can't see it that much on your skin. It just gives a little bit of a luminous kind of glow. But I just think this is overall a really gorgeous blush. And last but not least for the higher end, well, this is, this really isn't high end, it depends on where you're at in the world. Um, I know certain countries MAC is expensive. So this is a MAC blush and this is in Dame. So this is my favorite cool tone pink MAC blush. And oh, you know what? I didn't swatch the NARS Angelica, so let me do that for you. So there's NARS Angelica and MAC Dame. Look at that one. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking pretty. I just love that. Now for my favorite drugstore blush, there are two that I reach for the most, and I just freaking adore these. I got these at Target, so I don't know if that counts as drugstore, but in my mind it does. But anyways, this is Boots number no. 7, Candy Pink, and look at that. That is freaking gorgeous. That is, well, it's like the perfect matte sort of Barbie bubblegum pink. It's just beautiful. So I'll swatch that for you, and then I'll show you the other one. So there we have Candy Pink. And the next one is Flamingo by Sonia Kashuk. And this is another really pretty one. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit softer. So I would say that's more like the Barbie pink and this is more like the bubblegum pink. So there we have it. So there, there they are together. See, they are fairly close. They look really close on camera, but the candy pink is a little bit, just like slightly more pop pink. And um, Flamingo is a little more bubblegummy. I have two here by Hard Candy, and these are both beautiful, and I love them because they just have that very soft, glowy, pale pink, snow bunny sort of look to them. And so this one is um, Hard Candy Living Doll. This is one of their baked blushes, and it is so pretty. It's just like this light, refreshing, cool sort of pink, and it's just very glowy. So it doesn't look, I mean, it looks a little bit frosty there, but when you get it on, it just leaves, leaves like that nice, soft glow. And then this one is Hard Candy Glow All The Way in Doll Face, and this is a cream highlighter. So in case you haven't seen this before, I know I've, I've shown this before in, um, you know, like my dupe videos, but in case you haven't seen it, it is, there we go, it's just a nice cream highlighter, so that's sort of the color there, another really pale pink, and it just blends out really smooth and easily and leaves a nice glow. Now 
for favorite bubblegum Barbie pink lipsticks. I'm going to start with the drugstore ones first, and this first one is by CoverGirl. This is actually the only frosty one I think that I have to show you. Um, so anyways, if you like frost, this is a, a great one. This is one of my favorites. If you don't like frost, don't worry, I've got plenty of others to share. So this is Verve, and it is a beautiful, cool tone with a hint of lavender whip to it. It's just gorgeous. And I was wearing this one a lot. In fact, I used an entire tube of it, which is pretty amazing because it takes me a long time to go through some of my makeup sometimes. But that's Verve. Love that one for a frost, uh, you know, a nice pink, cool frost lipstick. And then I have some other drugstore ones, and I'm just now realizing they all happen to be Revlon. So sorry about that. It just, I have a lot of Revlon lipsticks that I love. These are both by their super lustrous line here, these two. So this is Pink Pout, and it reminds me a lot of Max Snob. It's beautiful. So that is another favorite, and I guess, should I be swatching these? I didn't even think about it. So there we go. I don't know if it's going to come up okay in this lighting. So that is Pink Pout, and I'll go and swatch this CoverGirl Lip Perfection in Verve, too. Okay, so there we have Verve right there. The next one I have is like, holy grail, oh my word, I love this lipstick with a passion. So this is Primrose, and oh, it probably doesn't look like that exciting, but when you put it on, it's just so, so beautiful. And it's so creamy too, so I think it's like the texture too. Revlon has really good textured lipsticks for a drugstore. So that's Primrose, and again, it doesn't look that exciting on the hand, but on the lips, oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Um, now, another one that I have here is from their Color Burst line, and this is Baby Pink. So there it is, Baby Pink. So this one, it's really soft, so when it goes on, it's not as like full coverage, but it's really pretty when you don't want to be like, bam, I'm wearing Barbie lipstick. It's just, it just kind of like melts into your lips and it's just buttery and smooth. And speaking of buttery, I have two Revlon lip butters, and I do like these a lot. I know some people don't like them, you know, it's it's kind of like, I guess, you either love them or you don't. I really like these a lot. So this one is Cupcake. These are like my top two favorites here. So there's Cupcake, a really pretty, oh, just looking at that color, just, it just makes me feel love. I just, I love pink. That's a surprise, isn't it? Okay, there we go. So that one is the palest of the bunch there. So pretty, though. And then, so that was Cupcake, and this one is Strawberry Shortcake. Another really beautiful one. This one is slightly warmer, and has a little more color to it. So there you go. Now for higher end lipsticks, now I say higher end, but I really mean kind of like mid-range. I have like MAC, Buxom, Smashbox, Victoria's Secret, and I have this, um, which is by Hope Girl, and I believe this is a Korean company, correct me if I'm wrong, but my friend from Thailand sent this to me a long time ago, and I fell in love with it, and I've been like using it like carefully ever since, and I freaking adore this. It is just, I mean, first of all, look at the packaging. Leopard print, it's pink, ugh, oh, it's just delightful. So this is PK202, that's the color. Again, the brand is Hope Girl, and look at that beautiful color. Oh my word, just looking at that is just, ugh, oh, it is so delicious. I want to eat it. Okay, we're not going to eat it, but we are going to swatch it. There we go. Look at that beautiful, perfect bubblegum Barbie pink. Love it. All right, next I have the color that I'm wearing right now. This is Victoria's Secret from their Color Drama line. I like the packaging, I think it's really cute, and I love this color. Um, it looks really subdued when I'm just looking at it in the tube like this, but on I feel like it's just like really pretty kind of, it's like a, it's a wearable Barbie pink. It's not like too blue tone, it's not too pale, it doesn't wash you out, it just kind of like works with your skin tone. So there we have Restraint. Did I say the name? I don't even know. Did I say that? I can't remember if I said the name. Anyways, this is Restraint. And I will swatch that. So it's a little bit darker than... Um, oh, I didn't tell you what this, uh, what this line was. I believe it's called Milky Lipsticks. Hope Girl Milky Lipstick or Milky Balm Lipstick, something like that. So anyways, so there's Milky Balm Lipstick. And then there we have Victoria's Secret Restraint. And next I have an old favorite. This is Smashbox Pout, 
And when I first got this, I wore this sucker out and I also freaking jacked it up, like jacked the hell out of it. Look at that. There we have a beautiful milky pink. So it's a lot milkier than even like the Hope Girl one. So it is lighter, but it doesn't wash you out. I feel like it's still fun, it's still bubblegummy without being like too wash you out. Next I have two Buxom lipsticks and these are, you know, in the different sort of packaging. They're a twist up lipstick. Wait, they're all twist up. I mean this is more like a pencil twist up. It's, I'll show you. So this is Las Vegas. And there it is. It reminds me actually a lot of this color. Let's see. I'll swatch it just below. Yeah, that kind of looks like this color. So it sort of looks like a dupe for a Victoria's Secret Restraint. So if you want to save a little money, I guess go with the Victoria's Secret one because this is, I think, it got lint on it. Let's see, is it $18 or $20? I don't know. Now the next one I have is Vienna. And that one is a little bit lighter, a little bit cooler. Oh yes, it is pretty. So there's Vienna. And there we have it. So that one actually reminds me, well, see we're getting into very similar colors here. So you really could go with any of these. This is a little bit more matte, the other ones are a little bit more, a um, little more shiny, a little bit more wet. So I don't know, maybe we're doing kind of a dupe video here too, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, at least you'll get some ideas of, you know, if you don't have one brand in your area, maybe you'll find, you know, a similar one here that you do have in your area if you want. Um, now I have some from MAC. So this is MAC Snob, the infamous. I know everyone knows this one. Some people love it, some people hate it. I really like it. It's just one of those colors that you need a little help with wearing sometimes. I mean, if you want, you can get away with wearing it just plain. But sometimes I feel like certain really blue tone pink lipsticks, um, I need to put a gloss over and that makes it more wearable. So I could put like, you know, a pink gloss or a nude gloss and that really kind of tones it down, but still you still have that pretty pink shade going on. So that's Max Snob. And then I have Saint Germain, which is a little bit brighter, a little bit milkier. Ooh, that's another really pretty one. But that one is electric on the lips. It really, it washes me out and makes me, well, kind of look a little clownish. So that one, like, definitely requires a lip gloss over it for me. I wanted to show you these other two options in case you wanted to go, like, in a bubblegum pink sort of direction one day, but you feel like maybe it's a little too much or... You don't want to go too cool blue, but you do want sort of that sort of pink snow bunny sort of look. These are two excellent options. This is Cream Cup from MAC, and it's just a really pretty, really easy to wear nudie pink. And it looks like way more peachy on my hand, but when it gets on the lips, it's more pink. And then this is Angel. So there you go. There's Cream Cup and Angel. For lip liners, I have four favorite pink ones that I reach for the most. Let me start with the one that I'm wearing right now, and I've already swatched them for you so we can show you those along the way. So this is Urban Decay Wicked, and I like this one because, so there it is there. And it's looking warmer on camera for some reason, but it's a cool kind of mauve pink shade. It's just really easy to wear with a lot of different shades of pink, and I find that it sort of like grounds and sort of tones down some of these really bright Barbie pink colors. It still works with them well, but it just kind of grounds them a little bit. So that is Wicked. And then the next one here is a drugstore. This is CoverGirl Lip Perfection in Splendid. And it's, it's a frosty one. So if you're looking for a good pink frosty lip liner, that is one of my favorites right there. The next one is Rimmel's East End Snob. And this is kind of a warmer one. So there it is there. It's just like a nudie pink. So that one's a really easy one to wear. And last but not least, well actually, this is the least worn of the four here that I'm showing you, but just because it's like, it is really bright. Uh, so it's definitely a bright blue-pink lip liner, which are kind of hard to find, but if you're needing one, this is a good one. So this is NYX Dolly Pink, and you can see there it's definitely that kind of bright St. Germain sort of color. So there we have it, Dolly Pink by NYX. For lip gloss, I only have one and it's high end. I don't know, I just didn't have any like pink lip glosses that were my favorite from the drugstore. It's just, just how it came about. But anyways, this is a favorite. I have loved this lip gloss for a long time. I've, I've had two of these now. So this is Chanel Glossomer in Brilliance. It is absolutely gorgeous. There's a swatch of it there. So it's like this cool tone, you know, baby pink with shimmer. So it's just, 
Oh, it's just delicious. Our last category is nail polish, and I picked my top three from my collection. There's tons and tons of pink nail polishes out there to choose from, but these are my personal favorites. So number one is Zoya Sweet, and you guys probably could have guessed that, because I talk about this all the time. This is my favorite nail polish of all time ever, like ever made. Zoya Sweet. Um, the next one is Essie, Cascade Cool. And so, I don't know if you can see a comparison there, so this is a little bit cooler. And then I have a brighter one, um, so when I want to go for a bright nail polish, bright pink, Barbie pink, it just makes me feel good. This is OPI Strawberry Margarita. So there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of color series on my favorite pink products and favorite bubblegum to Barbie pink sort of colors. And yeah, I don't know, who knows, maybe next time I'll do like favorite nude products or something, I don't know. And anyways, um, in the comments below, if you guys want, if you have a favorite, maybe like an HG pink product or something, whether it's lips, cheeks, whatever the product may be, leave it in the comments below and we can all read through and see what your guys' favorites are too. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.